Hello everyone, it is me, Bluebells5529, and today I'm here to show you guys a couple of projects that have been frequently requested on my channel because a lot of people have seen these models on my videos for quite a number of years now. I believe I made these in 2016, but I never got around to making a showcase video for them for obvious reasons on my channel. But here's the new showcase video showcasing the Tugs characters of Puffer in the Goods Engine. The reason why I made these two models is because I've always been fascinated by Tugs' railway as it pretty much stems from three different railways like British, American, and German. And I found that very interesting and pretty cool. So that's why I decided to make these. Very fun to make, something different, something that's not Thomas related. And it was really fun, and I hope you guys enjoy looking at these two. Now, let's get a closer look at these two locomotives. So let's start off with the easiest to make of the two, Puffa. Now, Puffa is made using an HO scale Fleischmann, I believe that's how you say the company's name, BR-80 locomotive. It was pretty easy to make, as you can see here, I had to chop off the funnel, and after that, it was pretty easy to do after that point. I believe I had to shave down the front a little bit to add the lamp here, and as you can see the bell. Now, this is not the original cow catcher that I used for Puffa in my videos. This is actually a brand new cow catcher that I bought a few months ago, as the other cow catcher was broken up and batted up so much that I had to get a new one. But I added the cow catcher, I added the stems right here, I added the lamp, I added the new, more American chimney, and I also added the bell. Now. After that, I had to paint it all black. I had to paint the chassis black because as it was based off of a German engine and most German engines have the red chassis. I had to paint that up, give it a weathering job, and matte finish it. And after that, it was pretty much settled. Oh, and I also had to take off the red here because BR engines, the inner part of the side rods and valve gear had red. So I had to remove that. Overall, uh, I think I did a pretty good job on it. You can see some of the red in the cab area where the original motor was. As you can see right there. But other than that, I'm very happy with it. It runs pretty smooth. It's a very nice model. Now, to some people, this may look a little awkward because even in Tugs, it looked really awkward because they basically took a German engine and tried to make it look American. So, it's... uh. <laughs> a little odd, but I quite like it. I love diversity on my fleet, and I'm very happy to make this guy. The lamp, smokestack, and bell, I believe, are from Bachman Parts, in case anybody wants to know. I believe the lamp here is from an ON30 model. I was plunked onto this. So yeah, very nice job, I think. Now it's time for the harder one to work out of the two, and took the most time, the goods engine. Now, the goods engine was made using a Bachman Spectrum 060 dock tank, I believe, and had to require a lot of work. The cab is made using a BR-80 that I had laying around. I had to chop off the cab, chop off the back piece to shape to look like the original goods engine, and glued it onto the model. These new tanks here were scratch built and puttied into the model and left a good result. And the outside steam pipes here were made using toothpicks. In terms of things that had to be 3D printed, the buffers, the back buffers, the funnel, and the steps were the ones that were 3D printed. Originally, the front buffers were 3D printed, but these were in favor of Airfix 4F buffers, and they're a lot more accurate to the goods engine that you see on the show. The back buffers here are still the 3D printed ones, but I had to change the heads on them as the heads of the buffers were broken off. Now, originally the goods engine in the show did not have a brake pipe, but I added it on there because I believe it looked nice. This part here on the top, that was robbed off of Puffa in favor of the goods engine. After that, it was painted black with white lining and then added Dock Railway logo and then weathered up. When this model moves backwards, the cab actually lights up and it looks very nice. If you're wondering what he looks like with a face, this is what the goods engine looks like with a face. This is the Wooden Railway Mac face, and it looks really nice on him. 
Now between Puff and the Goods Engine, the Goods Engine took the longest to make as it required me to scratch build new tanks and a new cab, new buffers, new funnel, pretty much make a completely new model. Fun fact for those who don't know, David Mitten did not like the Goods Engine as he thought it was very unrealistic and in some points I do agree with him as there are no front cab windows. But for me as a modeler, this was a very rewarding project and I am very happy to make it. It was very fun to do and quite honestly one of my favorite models. But overall, both these projects I was very happy with the end result and I'm very glad to have these in my collection. What do you guys think is the best between the two? Thank you for watching, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.